is the suplex showgun, Jackson Stone! to say that no man has cut a swath through the NWA Midwest ranks so far in 2017 quite like the one that Jackson Stone has. I believe I heard Jackson Stone say that this is going to be just like wrestling school. I wouldn't take John Roden quite that lightly. This is no mere sparring session. This is as real as it gets because it's the NWA Midwest. It's summer chaos. It's been exactly that here tonight. Shogun a, a bit amused by what he feels is a Roden's attempt to match strength. Taking advantage of the safety of the ropes to force that break. Oh, they don't come any bigger, stronger, or perhaps more unhinged than Jackson Stone. This man is on edge every second of the day. And you can see the size and the strength advantage that he possesses. Could barely get knocked back a step by the attempted shoulder tackle, but Roden ducks the clothesline, connects with a big kick. And that certainly took Jackson Stone off his feet. Follows up with a full head of steam and a running back elbow. It's going to take a sustained series of moves to get Jackson Stone in a position to be beaten. Comes out of that corner with the lariat. Oh, what a display of strength. Couldn't quite get the man up, but got him far enough to tell me he could try it again. Looking for that fireman's carry. Roden trying to fight back. Again, taken down to a knee. Belly to back suplex. The impact on that maneuver literally shook the ring. Only a one count though. And to kick out from a, a man the size of, of Jackson Stone requires that much more effort and exertion. Wears you out that much faster the more times he tries to get a lateral press in a match. Now he's just choking away using that bottom strand of ring rope, taking every bit of the referee's five count. No shortcut is too cheap for Jackson Stone. But more often than not, he can get the job done with just strength and power and wrestling. All the force that his 300 plus pounds could muster charging across that ring. We got John Roden and 
compromising position. But he's no walkover. The man that calls himself the juggernaut. Get back to his feet. But Jackson Stone not going to uh, allow that attempted rally from John Roden. Comes off the ropes with a big splash. Oh! Roden got, rolled his right shoulder out just at the, the last instant. Uh, it, Jackson Stone said to everybody that can hear him, he's going to squeeze the life out of Roden. But he's back to a vertical base, throwing elbows, trying anything he can to break that grip of Jackson Stone, who stumbles backwards into the corner. Oh, but able to put the brakes on, reverse that attempt to the Irish whip. Roden's back connects with the turnbuckles, and now he's got him up. Oh, but you can see how the damage to his back has affected him. Hoist him up for a huge backbreaker. All strength right there from the man known as the Suplex Shogun. As we were saying, the more times you have to kick out from underneath the size of somebody as Jackson Stone, the faster you're going to wear yourself out. Lose stamina, lose strength, lose concentration. Jackson Stone just drags Roden back to his feet. Oh, he's able to turn it around. Connect with that jawbreaker. Hits a splash, finds himself on the outside. Waist lock reversed. This does not bode well for Roden, but he's able to escape that precarious situation. Oh, the big man up for the spine buster. I thought that might have been enough to finish off Jackson Stone. The impact with which that move was delivered and the sheer suddenness of it was just that close looking for it perhaps one more time now he's got him up in a fireman's carry see if his back will hold out us dumps him that slam stone rolls to the outside knew he was in danger of getting pinned if John Roden were able to make it in time to get a cover, Roden now following Stone to the outside, who has still not made it back to his feet. The referee putting in a count on both men. Roden is not content to take a count out victory as he rolls Stone back in and looks to follow up on those huge high impact maneuvers. Fans are behind him here. I think he might be going to well once too often. His back just not going to hold out. He was able to get the surge of adrenaline to do that once. But Jackson Stone with the kryptonite crunch. Call it what you want. Call it enough to get the victory. for that hitting the man just blatantly sucker punch and taking a cheap shot after he already beat the man that's your hero 
significant victory nonetheless for Jackson Stone. Choker.